It's the enemy! They're coming! We're under attack! It's an elf! A dragon ear! All soldiers to the front gate! Go! Hurry! Looks like she got their attention. That should leave this area clear. Right on time, too. I suppose she's never been one for half measures. But now it's our turn. Our target's on this floor. He should be trapped in a cell in the furthest part of the lab. We find him and save him. Yes, my lady. I want everyone coming back in one piece. Move out. Our mission starts now. It should be just ahead. You there? Should have figured it wouldn't be that easy. Oh well. Who are you? State your business. Would you believe I'm here to rescue a princess? I guess you don't care. In any case, I owe you an introduction. I am Sonia Blanche, a sworn knight of Astoria. An Astoria? Breach! There's been a breach! Unfortunately for you, I'm in a hurry, so I won't be holding back. Here I come. Here we go! Take 
This is it. If our information's right, he should be in here. What? How cruel! I'm here to help. Uh, Are you Yuma Ilvern? Yes, that's me. I'm Sonia, a knight of Astoria. I'm here to break you out. Just follow me. Huh? Come on! We need to escape before the guards arrive! Escape? Escape to where? I... I have nowhere to go. Do you want to stay here? Well, of course not. But... Then follow me. We just need to make it out and you're free. You can go anywhere you want. Come on, let's go. I, uh, all right. There she is. That's the Astoria Knight. There's more of them than I thought. So much for slipping out the main gate. Okay, change of plan. Milady. Good timing. Looks like we're going with plan B for the escape. This way. No. We'll hold the line here. You get to safe ground. What? No! Then all of you would... We'll be fine. We survived your training, didn't we? A handful of Imperials aren't gonna take us out. Fine. Do me proud, everyone. Um... Don't worry, it'll be fine. Just follow me. We can escape from up top instead. This is our escape route? Right. See how the walls crumbled over there? We can climb down and get out of here. They've reached the top! Don't let them escape! But those guards will be here any moment. They'll just catch us while we're climbing. They would, if it was just the two of us. If we didn't have backup. Come on, Dragoneer. Hurry it up. This is your cue.
The hour is upon us. Sonya must be in position by now. Then it is my turn to fight. A suitable diversion should be enough to ensure their escape. Halt! Identify yourself! I am a Dragoneer of Wellant. Perhaps you understand what that means? Wellant? Then she's the one. She wiped out the South 7th Legion all on her own! I can't say I recall. It certainly sounds like something I might have done. Wh what business does a Dragoneer have with us? I only ask that you let me pass. Don't be ridiculous! You think we'd just let you in? If you choose violence, I must respond in kind. But your passing will not go unmourned. Through my Requiem, your soul will find peace. I am Kirika Toa Alma, Diva Magica and inheritor of the Rune Songs of Nature. Face me! The, the intruder! We're under attack! Still no sign of Sonia. This is no simple delay. Perhaps she's chosen the secondary plan. Storming the gates will do me no good. I'll have to find a different route to the rendezvous point. Yuma. Yuma. is dire indeed. I know. I'll probably just get captured again. Why do you not draw your sword? You are more than capable of defending yourself. No, I... I can't. I'd rather just go back to my cell. Don't you want to escape? I do, but... if it means I have to use that power, I... I can't. They'd lock me up, but they wouldn't kill me. I just have to let them experiment on me. It's just pain. I'm used to pain. Yeah, if I can just endure it, then... There she is! That's the Astoria hey, Knight! You okay? What's wrong? I thought I looked. No, it's nothing. But the guard. I know. But if we can hold on a little longer, my friend will come back us up. I'll keep you safe until then. Don't worry. Right. Thank you, Miss Sonia. I'm no miss. Just call me Sonia. Oh, okay. Wait. Wait. Something, Something about, about this feels so, so nostalgic. nostalgic. <sighs> 
What was that? Yuma, watch out! Get back! Right. Yuma, are you truly satisfied? Would you stand back without a word of objection and watch her fight for your sake? What are you trying to say? You are dead weight. A spectator. A useless piece upon the board of battle. I ask again, can you accept this? You are no younger, no less capable than she is. Yet when she raises her blade, you hesitate and watch. Yuma, does this not pain you? No, I... Of course I feel bad. What am I supposed to do? You're telling me to use your power? I told you I can't do that! It is not my power I am advising you to wield. You sealed that blade within yourself, and it is high time you used it. But if I draw that sword... Do you not long for that power? Do you not wish to fight at her side? <sighs> Fine, dragon. I don't like it, but you're right. It's time for me to fight. I am Yuma, Heritor of the Dragon Soul. Vandalhorn, Dragon Resonator. I release thy bonds! Let this blade howl with the balls of Dragonkind! Is my body and soul. This is Dragon Incarnate. Now, show them the might of Vandalhorn, the Dragon Resonator. Just this once. This is the last time I draw this sword. Yuma? Sonya, I can fight too. What? That song? Who's singing? <laughs> Who's that? She's... Dragon? <laughs> Is that one of the Empire's Draco Machina? Thank you, Trishula. That's Trishula? Then you're the Imperial Dragonair Princess, Excella. Indeed. Of course. That dragon's one of the three spears of the Imperial Princess. I suppose it makes sense their mistress wouldn't be far. But why are you in Alfheim? To humble those who would stand against the Empire, Knight of Astoria. <clears throat> hey, Yuma. Stay close to me no matter what. And on my signal, just run as fast as you can. What? Just trust me, okay? O okay. 
<laughs> Trishula, I leave them to you. Have at them. Of course. Huh? Trishula, wait. What? Huh? Is that... Finally, she's here. That song. <laughs> Impressive indeed. To block an arrow in flight. Hey, Kirika. A little late, don't you think? In you, foe. Speak your name. I am Kirika Toa Alma, Dragoneer of Wellant, Diva Magica, and inheritor of the rune songs from the dragons of old. I'm glad you finally showed up. I thought we were finished. And rightly so. Few could stand against a Draco Machina, even without an Imperial Dragoneer commanding it. Her name is... Kirika? <sighs> it's, it's happening, happening again. again. Is something wrong? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. My, the original Diva Magica in the flesh. An intriguing development. Then let me see your power firsthand. Trishula, take them. Can we handle this? I cannot say, but we must try. We must save the Shining Dragon no matter the cost. I had imagined the original Diva Magica's power would be more... impressive, somehow. It appears I was wrong. It will be more than enough to strike you down. Really? A bold claim. Shall we test it? I... can't move. <laughs> What's wrong? Standing still, even on a battlefield like this, it's as if you're inviting my lance. I think not. <laughs> What's wrong? I can't move! Are you all truly so helpless? Perhaps you were weaker than I thought. Weak? Don't give me that. We already put down your dragon. What does that make you? Pardon? You believe you fell, Trishula? <laughs> You have barely seen a fraction of Trishula's might. Rise, my dragon. I shall grant you power anew. <sighs> you will pay for that, humans. It's... coming back to life?
That resonance. Is that her harmonic? Now you see. Dragon and harmonic. Uniting to grant each other supreme power. That is the true might of a Dragoneer. Then... We'll just beat it down again! I see you are persistent, if nothing else. But you forget one crucial detail. There are three spears under my command. And Trishula is but one. Go. <laughs> Hardly worth the effort. They were so intent on rescuing this boy. Who is he? Your Highness, are you all right? Yes, perfectly fine. Seize them. Yes, Your Highness. <sighs> They're taking me back, but I can't stop them. I didn't want to escape anyway. Just have to stay in my cell. Just have to stay quiet. Quiet? Indeed. Perhaps you will return to your prison. Perhaps the experiments will continue. But what of the girls? What do you mean? Your would-be rescuers are of no use to the Empire. There would be no point in subjecting them to the same trials. After you have been taken away, whether by the soldier's hand or the Draco Machina, these two will die. No! Damn it, I have to do something! But what can I do? Need you ask? You know exactly what you can do. The power of the dragon? No! If I use that, then... Refuse, if you wish. That is your choice. What does it matter to me if two reckless girls meet their ends? It sounds like you feel the same, Yuma. No, of course not! I can't just abandon them! What is that? Trishula, Gabolg, Gugnir! Don't let that dragon escape! After it! If you command, but at great risk. How so? That was the Shining Dragon, our nemesis. He who fought us in the fires of Ragnarok. If we are to face him again, we must prepare for the worst. 
The Shining Dragon. Its power is legend. Then no, I rescind my order. I'll not risk your lives in a reckless charge. We will strike when we are better prepared. Still, I never imagined Alfheim would present such revelations so soon. The question is, is this an omen of our fortune or our doom? Long ago, the people spoke of a sacred island, a sea-bound holy land where Deus dwelled, Alfheim. Since time immemorial, the high elves of this island lived in peace with dragons, using mystic rune songs to commune with their mighty allies. Yet, this peace did not last. Deus, a force more powerful than any dragon, looked upon this world with disdain and sought to build a new world atop the old. High Elves, who were loyal to the dragons, did battle with their kin, who stood beside Deus. Chaos, suffering, war spread forth from the Holy Land, a shadow to cover the entire world. After centuries of carnage, the dragons finally claimed victory and sealed Deus away. The war had been won, but at what cost? The battle had exacted a terrible price upon their kind, and few remained. Ages of war had left Alfheim a barren wasteland, and those elves who fought for the dragons left their home to seek peace in a new life on the mainland. In the thousand years since that war's end, it came to be known as Ragnarok. Over the long years that followed, life slowly returned to Alfheim, the land darkened by war grew bright again, and humans soon came to settle in its newly fertile fields. These immigrants founded the Kingdom of Astoria, and its dominion grew to span all of Alfheim. However, ten years ago the trumpets of war sounded across the sea once again, and Alfheim was invaded by the largest nation of the mainland, the Lombardian Empire. This peaceful island was once again plunged into the fires of war. The Knights of Astoria fought bravely, but the Empire's strength was overwhelming. The defenders lost more and more ground by the day, until over half the land was under Lombardian control. Yet, Astoria managed to push them to a stalemate, thanks to the military support of the Elven Kingdom of Welland, denizens of the mainland, and neighbor to the Empire. Astoria held a key to victory, their famed Dragoneers, warriors who wield harmonics, instruments gifted to mortals long ago by a dragon of old. That dragon, he who forged the harmonics from his own body and granted those blessings unto mortals, was the almighty Shining Dragon, the same creature who now inhabits the body of a boy named Yuma. It is here and now, as the shining dragon soars through Astorian skies, that our story begins. <laughs>